38 Korach section 1 Now Korah Rabbi Yitzhak tells us that if the children of Israel had followed the Torah they would not have been exiled because whoever deals in the Torah has freedom from everything including death. The Torah is the power of the right and whoever exchanges the left for the right is as if he destroys the world. Rabbi Yitzhak says that Aaron is right and the Levites are left and that Korah wanted to exchange them and that he desired the priesthood. This is why he was punished. Korah had an evil tongue. He took bad counsel. He chased after something that was not his and he turned to disagreement which brought conflict instead of peace. The Shabbat is the peace of the upper and lower grades and by this peace the world endures. Whoever creates dissension in this peace will be destroyed. One. Now Korah the son of Azar the son of Kohat the son of Levi took the Midbar 161. Rabbi Abba opened the discussion with the verse more to be desired are they than gold. Even much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb Tehillim 1911 how supreme are matters of Torah and how precious they are they are desired above and they are desired by all because they constitute the holy name whoever toils in the Torah strives for the holy name and is saved from all evil he is saved in this world and rescued in the world to come come and behold whoever deals in the Torah is attached to the tree of life and since he is attached to the tree of life he is part of everything as is written she is a tree of life to those who lay hold on her Mishlei 318 to Rabbi Yitzhak said whoever deals in the Torah is free from everything even free from death as mentioned since liberty which is binded dwells upon him and is attached to him if Israel had adorned themselves with Torah they would have been saved from everything and would not have found themselves in exile this is what is written engraved have upon the tablets Shema 3216 do not read it with and but rather with an ES Jarrah since this freedom had Jarrah is available in the Torah the Torah is the power of the right as it is written from his right hand went a fiery law for them Devarim 332 and the left is included in the right whoever makes the right left and the left right is as if he destroys the world three come and behold Aaron is right which is Jesus and the Levites are left which is Gira Korah wanted to exchange the right for left he desired the priesthood which is right for the Levites who are left therefore he was punished furthermore he had the evil tongue by speaking out against Moses and was punished for everything Rabbi Yehuda said the left is always contained in the right because that is how the left is corrected Korah wished to substitute the correction of above and below since he aspired to the domination of the Levites which are left so that they should not be included in the priests which are right therefore he was annihilated from above and Below for now Korah took the Midbar 161 he asks what is the meaning of took he responds he took faulty counsel for himself if one chases after something that does not belong to him it escapes from him and he even loses what he has Korah chased after something that was not his therefore he lost his own and no one else gained 5 Korah turned to disagreement what is the meaning of disagreement distancing and repulsion the distancing and repulsion of what is above and below and whoever which is to postpone the restoration of the universe will become lost from all the world's conflict is a distancing of peace and whoever is in conflict about peace is in disagreement with his holy name because his holy name is called peace six come and behold the world does not exist except through peace when the holy one blessed be he created the world it could not endure until he came and made peace dwell upon them what is it, it is the Shabbat which is the peace of the upper and the lower Great and then the world endured therefore whoever creates dissension about this peace will be lost from the world seven Zalofihad was in dissension with the Shabbat because he was gathering wood or trees what were these trees these were the other trees of the seventy chieftains as we mentioned these were secular matters and secular concerns do not prevail in sanctity hence he was in conflict with the world peace which is Shabbat because he blended the secular with the Shabbat eight rabbi you see says that it is written great peace have they who love your Torah Tehillim 119,165 the Torah is peace as is written and all her paths are peace Mishlei 317 and Korah came to blemish that peace of above which is the Torah meaning the central column that is called Torah that produces peace between the right and left and below of Moses therefore he was punished from the higher and the lower aspects by fire and by the opening of the earthly chasm section two Summoned to the congregation, Rabbi Shimon explains how the higher world is like the lower one, so that when the congregation of Israel are gathered together for festivals, the higher Sfirot are summoned by the upper temple. He says that the men of renown who came against Moses and Aaron were not men of God, since they emerged from the aspect of Bira, and that those men created dissension nine, and they rose up before Moses. Bimidbar 162. This verse has been explained by the friends. Rabbi Shimon says regularly summoned had Kriyai to the congregation. Had motive, it is missing a yet. Why is it written Kriyai? He responds, it is only that the earthly kingdom is like heavenly kingdom, meaning that Malchut below is like Malchut above. That is the secret meaning of all these higher Sfirot, onto which the holy name holds. All are summoned from the place that is called holiness. That is the secret of supernal Abba and I am a, as it is written, which you shall proclaim to be also summoned from holy. Gatherings vi cross 2337 when is this when mode prevails in the world that is during festivals and appointed times have moa just as these higher rot are summoned by the upper temple so as to sanctify them similarly the lower sanctity summons its legions to adorn and uplift them these are three worlds Briya Yitzra and Asiya which are the legions of Malchut that adorns them and uplifts them to Atzalat and the higher holiness is known as Abba and Ima above and the lower holiness is the wisdom of Solomon meaning Malchut which also summons all her legions to sanctify them with her holiness these legions are all invited to be adorned in this lower holiness at a time when a festival prevails in the world as her legions are standing above in Atzalat summoned by Malchut so are the appointed of the nation meaning the chieftains of Israel according to her example below in this world therefore it is written as summoned to the congregation head mode and of those below it is written. Summoned had Kriyai to the congregation Kriyai is missing a yet however they are then in increased holiness eleven men of renown also named Bimidbar 162 is most certainly said and not men of Hashem, meaning the people of Malchut called name but not men of Hashem that is Zeir and that is the secret of and he who blasphemes the name of Hashem shall be put to death Vayikra 2416 we established that it alludes to Malchut that is called name and therefore they were certainly considered men of name since they emerged from the aspect of Bureau which is Malchut called the Lord Bureau they are men of name and that was said to increase their praise however they took her for themselves meaning they separated Malchut from Zeir and and held onto a dissension with Moses who is the secret of Zeir and section 3 holy pure Rabbi Shimon says that Moses asked Korah and the others to come before him in the morning because morning is the time of Holiness of Chesed and therefore of the priests essentially Moses was saying to them that if they remained on the side of judgment the morning would not tolerate them and they would not be found holy and worthy of the priesthood the matter would be tested by the offering of the incense and the man who God chooses must be holy and not pure the priest is holy and the Levite is pure 12 tomorrow morning Hashem will show who is his Bimidbar 165 he inquires why in the morning precisely and why holy and not pure meaning and who is holy and will cause him to come near to him but it should have said and who is pure he replies for they the congregation of Korah came from the pure side since the Levites are in the aspect of pure and not holy and the priest is holy Moses said in the morning when the sphere of the priest which is Chesed gets awakened in the world if you are priest here is the morning let them perform the service of the morning which is Chesed then Hashem will show who is his and who is holy who is his is unspecific which is a Levi and who is holy is a priest then and will cause him to come near to him he who is holy there is no one who can discern the matter except the morning thus he spoke to them if you find yourself remaining on the side of judgment the morning which is Jesus will not tolerate you since that is not the time of judgment but if you see yourselves remaining in Jesus then here is its time and you will stay with it and it will accept you 13 and what will the matter be tested in the offering of the incense since the incense must be brought through the groom's best man in all of the levels and be connected through them since the scent of the incense rises and binds all the levels into one who is that groom's man it is a priest who is Jesus therefore the man whom Hashem chooses shall be holy and not pure since holy and pure are two distinct levels the priest is holy and the Levite is pure therefore it is written and who is holy section 4 L the Elohim of the spirits we read how when Moses and Aaron fell on their faces they gave themselves up to death Rabbi Yehuda says that men are repaid with the deeds that they do but if they repent
spoke this verse come and behold it is written also against his three friends did his anger burn because they had found no answer eo 323 since they did speak but eof was not consoled by them from here we take a lesson that whoever comes to console the mourner must structure his speech first so that they are worthy to console him jobs friends spoke words of truth but not to console him and since it requires words that the mourner will acknowledge then he will accept upon himself it judgment and he acknowledged the holy king as is written now elihu had waited to speak to eof before since he acknowledged himself afterward to the holy one blessed be he and accepted upon himself the sentence of heaven 16 come and behold it is written therefore hearken to me you men of understanding far be it from el that he should do wickedness and from shade that he should commit iniquity eo 3410 therefore hearken to me you men of understanding but these are the most Perfected who can discern the matters and far be it from El that he should do wickedness. This is what is written and El who has indignation every day, but that refers to Malchut that is called El and from Shade that he should commit iniquity. But this one is close to that one since Shade is Yezid that is near El which is Malchut. It was already explained that in El Shade El refers to Malchut and Shade refers to Yezid for the work of a man shall he pay back to him. But 11 if a person walks about in this world performing deeds and sins before his master that deed depends upon him to reward him with judgment. This is what it says that the man's deed will pay him as that particular act that he performed will pay him 17 with all this if he set his heart upon him. But 14 as soon as a person places his heart and will to return to his master then El the Elohim will gather to himself his spirit and his breath had Neshama, but he will gather to him to bind them in. The bundle of life and he does not leave his nefesh out to be judged in another judgment. 18 Rabbi Yossi said that matter is a secret among the concealed judgments of the Holy One. Blessed be he since for the work of a man shall he pay back to him means to be sentenced in his judgment according to the activities he performed in this world. He raises him to be judged accordingly and he is lost from the world. The following verse says who has given him charge over the earth who has disposed. The whole world. Ibid 13 who has given him charge over the earth is the one who appointed in charge over him. His brother that redeems him who has placed the whole world under him means that his brother constructs a house by performing Levi marriage with his wife and builds an everlasting structure and restoration and inhabitation of the world. Following that it is written if he set his heart upon him since that person that was appointed as the redeemer to erect the structure needs to. Have an attentive heart and desire for that dead person in order to erect his name for him. The lesson from here is that if a person takes that woman in Levi marriage for her beauty and his lust, then the everlasting edifice does not get built since his desire and heart were not directed for the sake of the one who died. 19. Therefore, it is written if he set his heart upon him, it must be in the desire of the heart that the intention is towards the dead one and gather to himself his spirit and his breath because he continues through him to be built up in this world. It is then written all flesh shall perish together and man shall return to dust. 15. All flesh shall perish together so that his body and flesh will rot in the dust. Now, after this man shall return to dust, so there will be the revival of the structure as before and it will return to dust. 15. In the composition of another body as it first was for the Rash and Nesham are in the hands of the holy. One blessed be he and he has compassion on human beings so that they shall not be lost from this world nor the other world therefore it is written El Elohim of the spirits of all flesh section 5 take a censor Rabbi Shia interprets the title verse by saying that people must be careful not to be sinful because their deeds are all recorded before God if during the time of judgment the righteous person is in the world to plead for the sinful God relents of his anger and uses compassion 20 and Moses said to Aaron take a censor Ebed bar 1711 Rabbi Shia opened the discussion with the verse the wrath of a king is as messengers of death but a wise man will pacify it Mishlei 1614 how particular people need to be to prevent themselves from giving into their iniquities and to be careful with their activities at various occasions the world is judged and on a daily basis their deeds are entered upon the scale of justice are monitored from above and are Recorded before him when a person's acts are not fit for the king anger rises and judgment is stirred this is what is written the wrath of a king is as messengers of death therefore a person must be on watch for his iniquities each and every day 21 but a wise man will pacify it during the time when prosecutors prevail on the world and anger impends if the righteous man is at hand in that generation who is distinguished above the holy one blessed be he looks at him and the anger subsides this is similar to a king who is angry at his servants and demands the officer that carry out justice in the meantime the beloved of the king arrives and stands in front of him and as soon as the king sees him his face shines when that friend of the king begins to speak with him the king is glad after this when the police official arrives and sees the king's face in happiness he departs and no longer carries out the sentence then that beloved of the king beseeches the king on behalf of his servants and the king forgives them as a result of this a wise man will pacify it. 22 here too when Moses saw the anger pending Moses immediately said to Aaron he is the groom meaning that friend of the queen and the incense does not rise except through his hands since he increases peace in the world and ties the knot of faith that is Malchut incense was already set and explained that is the joy above and below the tie of faith and the disappearance of anger this is what is written. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart Mishlei 279 then a wise man will pacify it will clean and purify that anger and compassion will be stirred section 6 do not cut off the tribe of the families of the Kohathites Rabbi Lazar says that the Levites can approach the holy only through the priest and that the priest hides and covers anything that they are not permitted to see this is because everything of the priest is done in a whisper secretly while the Levites Speech and activities are in the raising of song and revelation of secrets. The priest's words are not spoken openly because he is of the right. Jesus Rabbi Lazar tells us that when judgment prevails on the world from the left aspect, the right draws near by the burning of incense that is done quietly in secret. When Aaron ran into the midst of the congregation to stop the plague that was killing them, he stood between the dead and the living that is between the tree of life and the tree of death. Thus, the tree of life that is from the right came close to the priest who was from the right, and the plague was stopped. Rabbi Lazar says that the priest has power above and below, and he is the cause of peace above and below. At all times, the left serves the right. 23 Rabbi Lazar said, Do not cut off the tribe of the families of the Kohathites from among the Levites. Be midbar 418, since they are the trunk and root of the Levites, but thus do to them that they may live and not die. But the Priest must establish that for them even though they are nearing to the holy they should only approach with the amendment of the priest since he is aware of the signal up to where he can reach and not further when they cover the holy vessels another coverage prevails from above and it is forbidden for the Levites to approach and look since anything that is in a whisper that is a secret applies only to the priests since their speech and activities are in secret and they whisper the Levites. Speech and activities are in the raising of the voice in song 24 therefore all the activities of the priests are performed quietly and secretively consequently wine is forbidden to them since wine is for raising the voice for song and revelation of secrets the Levites are given to attend the raising of voice because they are connected to judgment and judgment is open in order to publicize it to all however all the priest's words are secretive and in a whisper they are not spoken openly. Because he is of the right that is Jesus when judgments prevail on the world from the left aspect the right draws near by means of what by the burning of incense which is done quietly in secret more subtle and refined than anything that is by the 25 come and behold when this other altar the external altar which is Malchut begins to stir the awakening of judgment and no righteous people are around to protect it the inner altar by now awakens to him and stands up against him and the judgments are subdued therefore this one stands opposite the other one and then judgment departs 26 Rabbi Lazar says this shall be the service of the sons of Kohat in the tent of meeting namely the most holy thing of before during the period of time that the sons of Kohat came to take the holy of holies the priest approached and covered everything prior to their approach and they never saw what they carried instead everything was covered from them as it says and when the camp sets forward Aaron Shall come and his sons and they shall take down the veil of the screen of it five most of the casings for the temple's utensils were colored blue the significance of blue was already explained and taught after everything was covered the children of Kohat who carried it came near they did not get any closer than the poles that extended out as it is written and when Aaron and his sons have made an end of covering the sanctuary as the camp is to set forward after that the sons of Kohat
finds to do do it with your strength. Rabbi Shimon explains to his son that a person must include life from the tree of life in his life here because life, the secret of illumination of wisdom, prevails only here in Malchut. All the words of King Solomon were spoken in the secret of wisdom, and his verses mean that a person must always include the left in the right when his actions are on the right side. God will dwell with him in this world and will gather him to himself in the world to come. A person cannot decide to ask for mercy after death because there is no work nor device nor knowledge nor wisdom after he leaves this world. All his deeds here must be done for the sake of God. Rabbi Shimon says that every night a person must account for his actions that they repent of them and ask for compassion for them. Whoever strives through knowledge and wisdom to know God will not be among the wicked who are judged in Gehenna Machiol. He will instead be raised higher and higher to the place. Of many lights, 28 Rabbi Lazar was standing in the presence of his father Rabbi Shimon. He told him that it says, Live joyfully with the wife whom you love all the days of the life of your vanity. Kahilat 99, what is the explanation? He said to him, Come and behold the verse, Live joyfully with the wife whom you love is the secret that a person must include life from the tree of life that is Zeir and in this place which is Malchut referred to as woman. One does not go without the other Zeir. And without Malchut, a person must include the measure of the day and night that is a measure of Zeir and referred to as day and Malchut referred to as night and vice versa. The measure of night and the day that is the meaning of Live joyfully with the wife whom you love all the days of the life of your vanity. What is the reason for that is your portion in life since life that is the secret of illumination of Chakma does not prevail except on this on Malchut since the illumination of Chakma does not become revealed in any other place than her and in your labor in which you do labor under the sun of it is as you say in all your ways acknowledge Hadda who him and he shall direct your paths Mishlei 36 Dehu includes the letters of Nohad Devavhe which are Zeir and Pen and Malchut 29 come and behold all the worlds of King Solomon are deeply concealed in wisdom these verses seem as if the restriction has been removed since it says following that whatever your hand finds to do do it with your strength for there is no work nor device Kahilat 910 this verse must be studied carefully did Solomon who had higher wisdom than any world inhabitants indeed say this 30 he responds it is only that all the words of Solomon the king were spoken in the secret of wisdom come and behold whatever your hand finds to do do it with your strength that means that a person needs to include the left and the right and everything he does should only be composed of it Right, whatever your hand finds to do is the left which is called hand, and to doubt your strength is right as it is written, your right hand Hashem is glorious in power. Shemot 156. As soon as a person is careful so that all his actions are on the right side, he will gather the left into the right, and the Holy One blessed be he will dwell within him in this world and will gather him to be with him in the world to come. 31. A person should not say when I get to that world that I will ask the king for mercy and I will repent in his presence because it is for this that it is said, for there is no work nor device nor knowledge nor wisdom after the person departs from this world. However, if a person desires the Holy King to illuminate him in this world and grant him a part in the world to come, he should toil in this world to gather his activities to the right. All his deeds should be for the sake of the Holy One blessed be he for after departing this world to be judged in harsh. Judgment and to be punished in Gehenna, there is no recourse to counsel wisdom or understanding to be saved from that sentence. 32 Another explanation of for there is no work nor device nor knowledge nor wisdom in Sheol. There are levels upon levels in Gehenna, and the lowest level is Sheol, and even lower level is Abaddon, and one is near the other. Whoever descends to Sheol will be put on trial from there. He can rise in a whistle as it is written, he brings down to Sheol and brings up high. Shmuel 26 Whoever is lower to Abaddon never rises from there. 33 For whoever has a good deed or is of those who do reckoning, it was already explained that each and every night before he sleeps, he must make an accounting of the actions that he did all that day, repent for them, and ask for compassion for them. What is the reason that he must do the accounting at that time? Because during that period, the tree of death prevails on the world, and all the world's inhabitants get a taste of death. Therefore at that time a person must make an accounting of his deeds and confess them since it is a time of death and they are called those who do reckoning. 34 Similarly this is the case for whoever strives in knowledge and wisdom to know his master after his death when they will bypass him to look and gaze at these wicked that are being judged in Gehenna at the level Sheol where all scream from these levels he will not remain there and not be among them about this it is written for. There is no work nor device nor knowledge nor wisdom in Sheol there is no one there who has a good deed nor anyone who has device reckoning or knowledge namely one who strives to know because all these are not in Sheol and he will be found higher and higher where many lights and candles and delightful things are present and the Holy One blessed be he comes to be merry with the rest of the righteous in the garden of Eden praised is a lot of the righteous in this world and the world to come. About them it is written, Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name, the upright shall dwell in your presence. Tehillim 14,014, section 8. But the Levites shall do the service. Rabbi Abba tells us that when God wanted to create the world, he did so with the Torah, and through it the world became perfected. When Adam emerged into the world, the world was perfected. But when the spirits and demons emerged, the world seemed to be faulty and lacking. However, when the children of Israel were sanctified, the Levites were placed on the left side to restore the left. For this reason, the Levites must be cleansed, for they who completed the perfection of the left side ended the flaw of the world. Rabbi Abba says that if judgment had not existed in the world, people would not have followed the Torah, nor would they have performed the entire service that has to be done for God and which is done by the Levites. Rabbi Yitzhak tells us that in the future God will brighten. The light of the moon to be as bright as the sun and that he will brighten the sun seven times when it is now thirty-five but the Levites Levite he shall do the service of the tent of meeting Demid bar 1823 Rabbi Abba opened the discussion with the verse it is he that sits upon the circle of the earth Yeshayah 4022 come and behold when the Holy One blessed be he wanted to create the world it rose in his wish and he created it with the Torah and through it it became perfected this is what is written when he established the heavens I was there Mishlei 827 and it is written that I was by him as a nursling Hebamon of 30 it was explained that we should not pronounce it Amon but rather Amon lit craftsman she was for him the craftsman of the universe 36 when he came to create Adam we were taught that the Torah said is it in vain that you are called long suffering and abundant in love and if there will be no man who will sin for whom will you restrain anger at the time that Adam emerged into the world the luster of his face was from above and from below all the creatures were fearful of him as it was explained come and behold the world had no endurance and was not perfected until that time when Adam emerged in total perfection and that day was sanctified a holy throne was prepared for the king which is Malchut then the upper and the lower grades were considered complete and joy was attained in all the world's 37 at the moment when the day wished to be sanctified spirits and demons emerged to have a body created for them however the day was sanctified and they were not created the world appeared to be left as if faulty in its work and lacking because of the presence of these spirits and demons however as soon as Israel were sanctified and perfected in their level the levites were placed on the left side then that flaw of the world was perfected what was done on the left due to the existence of the spirits and demons because through the Levites the left was gathered into the right and the left was thereby restored 38 therefore the Levites must be cleansed and everything must be gathered into the right so that the world is not flawed due to this it is written but the Levite he shall do the service he who completed the perfection of the left side ended the flaw of the world even that northern side that was missing in the world when the Holy One blessed be he created the world the Levites also completed since the Levites at the ark completed everything what is the meaning of at the ark it means with that burden they carried at the tabernacle during the travel period of the tabernacle all that was flawed was restored to perfection 39 but the Levite he shall serve he alludes to the left above meaning that he restores the left above the pronoun he indicates that it is included in the right in addition he is the ancient one that is Keter for his service and restoration reaches all the way to Keter. Since he indicates the hidden of judgment which is the secret of the amendment of the Levites had not existed in the world people would not have been aware of the highest faith and people would not have engaged in the Torah and the commandments of the Torah would not have been kept nor would people have performed the entire service that is to be done in this world for the Holy King who performs it one
Vav Hei is El is mentioned 41 Rabbi Yitzhak said in the future the Holy One blessed be he is destined to brighten the light of the moon to be as bright as the sun the light of the sun will be seven times brighter as it is written moreover the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun Yeshaya 3026 it is also written your sun shall no more go down nor shall your moon withdraw itself Yeshaya 6020 and it is further written the sun shall be no more of 19 Moses talks about the command to redeem the firstling and that if one does not redeem his nefesh and rash and neshama in the Torah he is destined to reincarnate again he also speaks about the three times of exile and the last redemption Rai Mahin of the faithful shepherd 42 everything that opens a womb in all in the firstling of unclean beasts shall you redeem Bimidbar 1815 this commandment is to redeem the firstling of a mule that is to redeem himself for the world to come if Prior to going to that world, he does not redeem his nefesh and rash and neshama in Torah. He is destined to return back and reincarnate in this world as originally as it says. He shall return to the days of his youth. Yo, 3325 and receive nefesh rash and neshama. 43. It is written, Loel does all these things twice or three times with a man. Yo, 3329. That I ask the children of Israel since their redemption takes place without Torah, which is like silver head that is kisufalit. Delight of the world to come. They return three other times to the exile and at the last redemption when they will be redeemed through Torah, they will never ever return to exile. The rabbis came and gave him their blessing, saying, Faithful shepherd, the Holy One, blessed be he will redeem you and all the children of Israel will be redeemed through you and you will be renewed with them and they with you. Section 9 household arrangements. Moses compares a virtuous wife. To the Sheshana saying that whoever does kindness by her will receive invaluable recompense, but that whoever is sinful to her will receive punishment beyond measure. He tells us that anyone who inherits a Neshama or Rash or Nefesh from the Sheshana does not require redeeming the Sheshana's redemption is dependent on God, and that redemption is drawn by the Tefal in the keeping of the Shabbat, the marking of the festival days, the mark of circumcision, the Torah, and with several precepts. 44. The precept following this is the dealing in household arrangements in the secret of wisdom. A man's house is his wife. If she is a woman of good and evil, and he wishes to exchange a bad woman for a good one, he should redeem her from that evil one and give her her worth. However, it says about a woman of the tree of life that is malchute gold and glass cannot equal it, and the exchange of it shall not be for vessels of fine gold. Eo 2817. She is invaluable, as it says, a virtuous woman is a crown to. Her husband Mishlei 124 and it also says who can find a woman of worth Mishlei 3110 that is the Shechina whoever does kindness by her shall receive invaluable recompense and whoever is sinful to her shall receive punishment beyond measure 45 she has many maidservants who serve her each and every one of them has value and each one needs a ransom meaning to ransom her from the hold of the other side however Neshama or Rash or Nefesh inherited from the Shechina does not require redeeming since it is said about the Shechina I am Hashem that is my name and my glory will I not give to another Yeshayah 428 her redemption is dependent on the Holy One blessed be he which Israel draw to her by the knot of the Tefilin with the Shabbat sign with the marking of the festival days with the mark of circumcision with Torah and with many precepts since her ransom is dependent on the Holy One blessed be he this is what it says but I acted for my name's sake Yashiskel 209 and for her and yet for all that have Zadvei Ikra 2644 in this matter people perform many precepts in order to receive recompense each precept has a value in that world however the punishment for someone who transgresses them has no value section 10 devoting one's possessions to the priest Moses speaks about anger saying that there is deadly poison in rage and that when one is angry it is the same as if he is an idol worshipper therefore the person who sins in anger must give his offering to the priest because the priest is compassion and blessing and will cause the anger in the left to be subdued and replaced with mercy 46 the next precept after this one relates to someone who devotes his possessions to the priest this is what is written everything devoted in Israel shall be yours Bimidbar 1814 that is the secret meaning of everything that opens the womb in all flesh which they bring to Hashem whether it be of men or beasts 15 womb reach of Resh Chet M.E.M. amounts to Resh M.E.M. Chet equals 248 by resetting the letters like the number of 248 limbs and organs of a man about whom it is said in wrath remember mercy had Rasham Shabaka 32 after a person sins in anger and dedicates this beast to him another ele serpent dwells on IT as it says you are cursed above all cattle Beersheet 314 and he is to the left of man therefore the Holy One blessed be he commanded that IT be given to the priest who is compassion and blessing in order to subdue the anger since in that person the bitterness is stirred which is the sword of the angel of death therefore the right is awakened toward him with compassion and the anger in the left is subdued and so when angry have compassion in wrath remember mercy 47 when one is angry there is deadly poison in his rage about him the masters of the mission have stated whoever is angry it is as if he is an idol worshipper since the other side burns the person and by giving that beast to the Priest that possession separates from him, so male a strange hell consecrated destruction and his female is a curse that is contained in all the curses mentioned in the book of Devarim the Holy One blessed be he granted blessings throughout the Torah and all the blessings are from the right to which the priest holds on due to this any consecration needs to be given to the priest who burns it in fire and destroys it from the world the fire of the left gets calmed in the right which is water and then the king's wrath was pacified Esther 710 through its section 11 2 out of 100 we hear from the faithful shepherd about the next precept that is to set aside a great offering 2 out of 100 this means to unify God twice a day with the morning prayer and the evening prayer we learn the gematry that explained the 100 from the name Yadhav and the tense Firat and the words Adik or Righteous Moses also mentions the 100 blessings that a person is required to do every day to bless God he refers to several offerings and emphasizes the importance of the mating of Zer Enpin and Malchut 48 the precept after this is to separate aside a great offering and it was set at 2 out of 100 he inquires what is an offering he responds the rabbis in the yeshiva said this offering requires the setting aside 2 out of 100 according to Sitrei Torah lit the hidden Torah what does it allude to it means that whoever which is to taste of her shall be killed if he is a stranger that means a strange else since the holy one blessed be he said that they bring me an offering have true Mishema 252 to have try out of 100 have Miyah this means to unify him twice a day which is 2 out of 100 that are 49 letters of SHMA and blessed is the glorious name of his kingdom forever and ever of the evening prayer of it and the 49 letters of the morning prayer too are missing here for the completion of 100 and they are the higher Shechina which is Bud and the lower Shechina which is Malchut with both combined they must be unified with the Holy One blessed be he that is a cubit the measurement of both and together with them it is 100 m and cubit has the same letters of Mia and 100 in changing the letters it forms high and the mother which alludes to Bud 49 in addition then it shall be that when you eat of the bread of the land you shall offer up a gift to Hashem Bimidbar 1519 offer up is as is written and lifted up its hands on high Shabaka 310 because lifted up its hands I as explained as the ten fingers on his hands this refers to the ten fingers lifting them that is according to the meaning of lift up your hands in the sanctuary Tehillim 1342 is to the tenth Firat that are Yad Vavdalat Hayalat Vavdalat Vavdalat the numerical values equal 45 mem by exchanging letters of the alphabet using the system in which Aleph equals Top bet equals shin mem he amounts to 100 this is because the mem is substituted with yud according to the combination yud equals mem and aleph equals top bet equals shin and the he changes with the zedek according to the combination of he equals zedek zedek plus yud totals 100 this is why it has been explained by the rabbis the sages of the Mishnah that and now Yisrael would have ma mem he does hashem your elohim require of you devarim 1012 do not pronounce it ma but rather 100 or mia that corresponds to the 100 blessings that a person is required to bless his master with daily that is because a person needs to taste daily for the sake of his master therefore it is written that they bring me an offering 50 there are several offerings there there is an offering mentioned in the torah since trim and offering consists of torah and the letter mem that is an offering which is the
Amounts of offerings prescribed in Scripture 51 The precept after this is to set aside a tithe for the Levi thus is the Sheshanah from the right side which is Jesus the great offering I ask given to the priest who is Jesus from the left side Bure the tithe offering I ask given referring to the offering of tithe belonging to Levi which is the Sheshanah on the left side 52 The Yud Hey Bab Hey of the numerical value of 63 which I ask Yud Bab Dalit Hey Yud Bab Alat Bab Hey Yud I ask the secret of I am a which is left in relation to Abba who is Yud Hey Bab Hey of numerical value of 72 since 72 and 63 are right and left it is three tenth measures shall you offer for a bullet Bimid Bar 2828 that is the three Yud's of the name of the full spelling of 63 called the three tenth measures this is said of an ox because it is of that side about which is said and they forehead the face of an ox on the left side Yajiskal 110 that is Bure meaning the left column a tenth measure for one lamb. That totals 10 letters Yadbab Dalit Hey Alat Bab Alat Bab Hey Alat and that is a tenth measure the ten letters and these ten letters amount numerically to MEM Hey equals 45 and MEM Hey is 100 Hey Mia as explained above 53 three tenth measures allude to the setting aside of the dough offering which is applicable to a dough of the size of 43 and one fifth of an egg size the three yads of the Yud Hey Bab Hey of 63 are three letters amounting to the numerical value of 30 and together total 33 and with the tenths I rot in them in the three Yuds totaling 43 which is the secret of 43 eggs all this is yet since the number 43 is derived from that Yud which are the three letters of Yud in the full spelling of Yud Hey Bab Hey of 63 and their amount is 30 plus the tenths I rot the fifth of an egg size that is added to the measure of 43 egg size is due to the Hey since Malchut has the aspect of Yud and the aspect of Hey so the tithe of the commandment. That Yisrael are required to set aside a tithe is due to the letter Yud in Malchut, which is tithe of a tithe, meaning that Malchut is one of ten Svirat and nine of the Svirat are part of her. Therefore, it is the secret of Yud, and it is one of five Svirat from the aspect of Hey. Anywhere it says ten, it is from the letter Yud, which is the Sheshana, which is one of ten Svirat. One of five is from the aspect of Tiferet, due to the fact that Tiferet is the fifth of Kita, which is Chakma and Bina. Jesus Bira and Tiferet. When you count from Malchut to Tiferet, you will find that Tiferet is the fifth from bottom upwards. That is Malchut Yisit Hot Netzach and Tiferet, and the Sheshana is the fifth to it to Tiferet, and all these four Tiferet Netzach Hot and Yisit illuminate in her. Therefore, she is the secret of Hey equals five. Since from this Hey, the addition comes of one fifth of the egg size, as explained above. Fifty four from the aspect of Malchut, there are two tenth measures for one ram. The midbar 2828 cents two tenths measures are two YUDs and she is included in the golden spoons weighing ten shekels apiece. The midbar 786 ten pieces yet from the right hey which are a fully spelled hey from the left that in numerical equivalent totals YUD equals ten for one ram is bob which is the shekel of the sanctuary which is the central column that balances head shekel and outweighs them that is the meaning of the golden spoons weighing ten shekels apiece. Let ten ten since the spoon which is malchut is comprised of YUD ten from the right and YUD ten from the left the shekel of the sanctuary is the central column that is the bob two tenth measures for one ram are the yad of bayitzer ang form bear she two hundred and nineteen for one ram is that bob of bayitzer all this is in the form of an Allah whose form is a yad above and a yad below which indicates to the right and left while the bob in the middle indicates the central column section thirteen. Setting aside a thank offering we hear about the precept to set aside a thanks offering and are told the appropriate amounts and values and we learn the secret meaning of why it must never be less than 10 remembrances 55 also 3 tenth measures are 3 times yud yud and yud and yud hey bab hey when fully spelled out totaling to 63 they are the precepts after this one to set aside a thanks offering and the rabbis the sages of the mission said that a thanking is equal to 20 tenth measures and they are divided into 10 tenth measures for leavened bread and 10 for unleavened from a tenth of unleavened they produce 30 matzot and from a tenth of leavened bread they produce 10 shallot dough cakes that is the meaning of unleavened cakes of fine flour mingled with oil they across 24 from the 10 tenth measures which are the 10 letters of yud hey bab hey fully spelled to the numerical value of 63 which are yud bab dalit hey yud bab bab hey yud they made 30 matzot that are yud yud and yud that is in the yud hey bab hey of 63 this is because in numerical value they are 30 the secret of the three tenth measures as explained above this name yud hey bab hey in the full spelling of 63 is sometimes to the right jesus and sometimes it is to the left viewer sometimes it is in the center which is mercy from every direction both to the right and left since the central column includes the right and left 56 sometimes the yud which represents malchut is in the right and that is the secret of why it must never be less than 10 malchut since 10 is the secret of yud sometimes the yud which is malchut is on the left and this is the secret of why it must never be less than 10 blows of the shofar since at that time it is considered a shofar like ima who is on the left as mentioned sometimes the yud that is malchut is in the center between the right and left when it is referred to as remembrance corresponding to the name Zeir and that is the central column that is the secret meaning of why it must never be less than 10 remembrances section 14 at the commandment of Hashem they remained in camp here Moses emphasizes strongly the number 12 as manifested in the 12 boundaries the 12 countenances and the 12 tribes he talks about the three living creatures lion ox and eagle each with its four aspects we learn that for whoever produces merits in order to receive a reward God comes down in the chariot of the servant Metatron and with his four guards the archangels but for whoever produces merits not for the sake of receiving a reward he descends in his own chariot finally Moses says that God descends upon the wicked with their deeds with demons harmful spirits and destructive angels with the chariot in order to take revenge on them 57 at the commandment of Hashem they remained in camp and at the commandment of Hashem they turned it, they kept it. Charge of Hashem Bimidbar 923 This verse contains three names of Yud Hey Bab Hey in accordance with the three Yuds mentioned above since each Yud has four faces meaning four letters of Yud Hey Bab Hey This is the secret of the twelve boundaries that contain all perfection which are the four letters of Yud Hey Bab Hey Shisid Bure Tiferet and Malchut within each one there are three Yuds that is three columns for a total of twelve he explains further there are three living creatures corresponding to the three Yuds meaning the three columns called lion ox and eagle and there are four aspects to each living creature that is to each column in accordance with the four aspects of Yud Hey Bab Hey meaning in accordance with the four letters of Yud Hey Bab Hey which are Shisid Bure Tiferet and Malchut the twelve boundaries at the commandment of Hashem they remained in camp and at the commandment of Hashem they journeyed that is in harmony with the perfection of it. 12 boundaries 58 after the three Yud Hey Bab Hey at the commandment of Hashem at the commandment of Hashem charge of Hashem IT says they kept which is the Shechanah that receives from these three columns that are the secret of the 12 boundaries it is indicated in the words they kept since she keeps all those who keep the Shabbato and holidays therefore the Shechanah is not moved from Israel all the Shabbato and holidays this is true even on Shabbato that are not on festive days only she is shut up and closed in the meaning that she does not bestow plenty on the lower beings that is not the case on Shabbato that occur on holidays when her plenty is poured in great abundance 59 at every prayer she melts you descends to Yud Hey Bab Hey that is Zeir and until it reaches the chariot of the supreme patriarchs who are Shisit Bura and Tiferet which contain the 12 countenances corresponding to the 12 tribes this is because each one of Shisit Bura and Tiferet incorporates four countenances Jesus, Bure, Tiferet, and Malchut totaling twelve according to her Malchut advocates merits for all those who pray and have earned merits in each and every precept in the Torah so they remained encamped over their merits and so they journeyed to their merits thus the charge is going down to them sixty he explains his words for those who produce merits in order to receive a reward meaning wage recompense the Holy One blessed be he comes down in the chariot of the servant that is Metatron and with his four